Uh, hey guys. Welcome back to Enderal. We have finally made it into Ark. And there's quite a bit to do here. However, I do believe the first thing I'm gonna do... I'm, I'm very curious about the order. I think I might let Jaspar take me up there first. In the meantime, however... Yeah, since we are in a new place, there's more bounty missions. The Pathless One, Virgilus the Ripper, is wanted for glimmer dust trafficking and sacrilege. He seems to be able to hold his drink, is a wild mage, and is most likely hiding in the wild mage's hideout in the Heartlands. Alright, sure. I can deal with a mage, even if he's called the Ripper. I'm sure that's fine. Uh, I've switched around my set a bit. I tried to do some crafting and, you know, assorted skills, but I didn't manage to do a whole lot. What I did do is I made myself like a cuirass in light armor and gave it a really really shit enchantment because that's the best I can do, so stop bullying me. Um, I also made the shadow finger, which was a reward from... Tum tum tum. Where did we get that? We got like a blueprint for this, and it's pretty neat, it's light armor and gives you a sneak in prices, so that's pretty amazing. Uh, I believe that might be about it. I might actually switch out the Curias for a magic imbued robe, which I could craft, but uh, we'll rock this for now. Actually, we're heading towards the order. My dame. Yeah, hey. Maybe I should be proper. They probably should know that I'm a, you know, the crazy psychopath running around in like the Bane mask. Uh, so, so. We have some Gallon Shoes. Ah, uh, what should I wear today? Let's see. I mean, this one's pretty nice. I, I would probably prefer a different color, but sure, let's go for it. How about these boots? Nah, they don't look that great. Uh, let's see. Let's dress to impress. I should probably take off the mask for starters. I look like a maniac, which I am, but... Wow, I still look like a maniac. Okay, never mind. Um, we shall tidy up. Look at that. Ah, oh, beautiful. Nah. Uh, hey, Jaspar, how you doing, buddy? Yeah, I, I'm starting to sort of find my place here. There's still a lot to do. We need to go to the bank still as well. But we're gonna do that after we've seen the order. Look who's arrived. Did you have any problems finding your way around? This city can be quite a maze if you don't know it. Uh, dude, why do you still have that idiot smile on your face? Just call time, dude. It's early in the morning, I'm assuming. I don't need your bullshit, can we just go? Well, look who's arrived. Did you have any problems finding your way around? I... You can be quite amazed if you don't know it. Apparently I'm used to big cities. I don't know how, because Nehrim didn't have cities as big as this, so... <laughs> right, you're from Ostian, I almost forgot. Oh yeah, right, yeah, I'm from Ostian. They're quite fascinating, these places, I'm an idiot. aren't they? You can climb high, and you can fall just as deep. And every place vibrates with life. Ostian is, of course, uh, the city in the south of Nehrim, where we sort of, you know, had to wage, or had to stage a coup d'etat <laughs> against the theocracy, which... You know, was something else. That was definitely a thing we did. Um, I don't remember what he said. Yeah, you're a good boy, Jaspar. Here, put this on. And before you ask, yes, it's necessary. Just trust me. Uh. Oh, damn. Oh, snap. Thanks, man. That's some new threads. These look amazing. I like it. Look at that. With my red hair and the green dress. Oh, I look like fucking Poison Ivy. This is amazing. That's it. And why is it Malphas who carries the Sun Temple on his Hold back? on, Jaspar. Isn't that a gesture of servitude? No. He's talking about the Malphas statue. Malphas carries the Sun Temple because he also carries humanity. Without the benevolence and sublimity of the gods, the world would still be at war, just as it was after the devastation of Starfall. Everything we have, we owe it to them. Correct. The gods' reign is not driven by greed for power, 
Their highest endeavor is the preservance of peace and stability, no matter the cost. Keep that in mind, son. And honor the path Malfas has chosen for you. This is the only way of showing gratitude to all he and the Lightborn have done for us. I mean, fuck the Lightborn, You're not but... from here, are you? I heard you talk. I probably shouldn't have said that out loud, yeah. <laughs> Never mind. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna keep my opinions to myself. You? Can we just go? I'm making a fool of myself. Oh, we're headed into the nobles' quarter. I haven't been here yet. I was sort of waiting until I integrated to sort of, you know, dare to expose myself to the nobility. But sure, I'm just a sick, sick girl. Definitely not a psychopath. Definitely doesn't summon the undead. Madame? Yeah. Yes? You look like a fine fellow. Look at you. News. Where have you been these past moons? I bet the you'd make a great summon. about nothing else but the Mad Magister. Thirty dead novices. Oh, boy. How could something like this happen? Yeah, Within it's really order. sad. Um, it stays equally sad, no matter how often you hear it, but it, it becomes harder and harder to emote to it, so... <laughs> hmm. Ooh. Madame? Oh yeah, there's like some more specialized shops here in the Noble's Quarter. Oh shit, is this where we're gonna find the thing for the Ash Widow? Maybe it is. I am going to have to keep that in mind. What's this? So about this fever. Usually yeah. those gifted with magic have to report their talent to the order and sure. then pass a ritual that teaches them how to deal with them. Yeah. The journey to the water is what they call it. Is that the Ooh, ducks. Dude, some world. ducks. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh my goodness, look at that. That's so cute. Oh, you're adorable. Oh my goodness. Wait, what was that? Um, I kind of missed that. Can we sort of start over? Are you... Are you pissy now? Because I was looking at ducks, so you don't want to talk anymore. Are you gonna be, like, a bossy Bessie? And... I don't know. Like, you're not my supervisor, you know? I'm just sort of here. I guess he's done talking, yeah. You didn't like that, did you? He stopped smiling as well. Maybe that's for the best. <laughs> Fucking just spar. <laughs> what a shit eating grin. Okay, I'm sorry. Almost there. I just can't stand it when he smiles like that. That's why I liked Waylon so much, you know. He never smiles. He just, you know, comes in, does his job, and then, you know, gets huffy because I summoned him for the millionth time. Ah, oh, Waylon. I miss Waylon. Uh, lad, where are we going? This is no longer the Noble's Quarter. Hey, man. Ooh, wow. This is holy ground, Outlander. You don't belong here. Yeah, you don't need to tell me twice. Can I talk to you? Yes? Is it important? I'm assuming nothing I say is gotta be important to you. Um... Wow. I don't like these guys already. Uh, I kinda do need some nails, though. Do you guys mind? Wait. Teleport to Ark. Yes, please. Military barrack. Huh. Oh, does this go back down? Maybe it does. But I have to follow teach, you know. This is a school trip. Come on, dummy. Do, do, do. You know, I'm only sort of falling apart limb from limb. I understand that it's more important that you give your lecture, but... I am sort of thankful for the clothes, though. It is very nice. Um, ooh. We can sort of have a look. Uh, which direction are we looking here? We're looking south? Am I looking south? No, that's north. Wait, is north downwards? Is this map topsy-turvy? Where's the compass? Here we go. No, uh, I don't even know what that's supposed to be. Is that an N? That's probably an N. Oh, who knows? Uh, you know, whatever. It's fine. I don't care what that is. 
I just think it's pretty. I like looking at nature or anything. Are we, uh, cool? Who's that? Keep walking. I refuse. Who are you? An outlander. What are you doing in this part of the city? Shouldn't you be, uh, I don't know, somewhere else? Oh, uh, you know, if you get tired of me being here, you can always sort of try to get rid of me. You can try. Might be fun, actually. You know, and once I'm done sort of kicking your ass, we can sort of have a drink in the bar and we can be friends. I have absolutely no problem with that, but, you know. I bet you would. Hold it, my sir. No civilians beyond this point without explicit permission. Um. Who are you and what leads you to this holy place? Business. Can I have that scroll? I'm Jaspar Belveric, and I work for the Naramese mages. Oh, right. The mercenary. And who's your companion? Marija de Luna from Ostia. Esteemed holder of de Luna's Empire of Tender Fragrance, the most prestigious perfumery in all of Vin. Arch Majesty Marigel sent for her. Didn't he tell you? The Arch Magister. Um, all that does sound like him. Fair enough, you may pass. But show this place the respect it deserves, Miss Mary. You too, my Dame de Luna. You have my word, fair lady. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, holy ground, I get it. Um, can I have that? Thank you, sweet, fantastic. I bet there's something around here. This seems like a place that has things. Right, my man, just far. <laughs> he met his friend, look at that, he's also a smiley man, look at that. <laughs> They're smiley men together. Oh, oh, he stopped smiling. Probably shouldn't make fun of him. Um. What blessed, madam? And you. Oh, he lo oh, there, there he smiles again. Look at him go. Oh my god. He's such a happy man. Ah. I always like it when two men encounter each other, sort of T-pose, and start smiling. That, that's how you know today's gonna be a good day. Right, fantastic. We made it in, and this place is obviously super pretty. Well, that went better than expected. Uh, so, what was that about the thing? Hey, it worked, didn't it? That's all that matters. Yeah, but am I supposed Nobody to remember it? Nobody someone who's already in the temple. Anyway, I think it's about time I tell you a little bit more about this employer. Of mine. Right. His name is Constantine Firespark, and he's one of Narath Zorrenthiel's former followers, which the new Grand Master... That Tiro name doesn't ring a bell. ...ship about two years ago. That means he's one of the former arch enemies of the Order. Mm. They usually wear green, while the Order wears white or red. Green. That should make it easy for you to tell them apart. Firespark's pretty much the eldest of Narathsul's mages, and quite well versed in magic, at least from what I've heard. Plus, he's a very gentle and likable fellow, which is why even the Keepers like having him around. Let's hope he can tell us a thing or two about these visions, and help you get rid of the fever. Come, follow me. Yeah. Uh. Huh? <laughs> Keep your chin up. Yeah. Right, sure, yeah. What a lad. So where are we going? There's there's a lot to see here, obviously. Um in this section and the in the entire town. I guess I'm just gonna do it step by step. There's no need to sort of coom over everything. I'll just see what comes. One of the first things I definitely want to do is of course see the the undercity. We've seen the top of the city. Later on, we're gonna go to the bottom. So let's see what the fuss is about. Because obviously these people live well. Look at this. Um, can I have your books? The answer seems to be no. I just can't bloody believe it. The other question is, will I have your your books? Uh, wait, was that at me? I Jaspar seems to have gone forward, but there there's like something going on here. That's what they are, all of them. What's what's up, my dude? Are you having an issue? Oh yes. Guess what? There is. Some people just don't get the meaning of the word reliability. Can you sort of start making sense real quick? Because huh. I have a fever to fix. You're not from the Order, are you? No shit, Captain. Then I wonder what the blazes you're doing here. But, fine. 
Who am I to reject a helping hand? There you go. Elia, the novice who was assigned to me. Free labor, right? She's supposed to help me transcribe these Pyrian tomes the Grand Master is so obsessed about. Okay. But two days ago, she simply vanished. If I were to guess, I'd say she's strolling around enjoying herself somewhere in the nobles quarter in the nobles quarter i'd go look myself but i'm lucky if i get to breathe within all this work go find her and tell her to get her bloody ass up here and help me okay if you do that it won't be to your disadvantage i'm assuming you're not gonna tell me what you're actually gonna give me because who would Fuck contracts, apparently. Ooh. Ooh. There's like some fancy stuff here. Blazes, I just can't bloody believe it. I should probably keep my hands off it for now. There's still plenty of time to steal. There's all the time in the world to steal, kids. Just make sure you've done your chores first. Alright, here we are. Okay. Oh, this is a nice room. Hang on. No, 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 no. That's not how you do it. Blast it, I'm just being careful. We like have to- Like heck we do. Give me that thing, now. Whoa, Jesus! <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Blasted, blistering. Hold on, Please. I'm stealing. I, uh, that's what you get for working with fumblers. Probably shouldn't say that out loud. We Most should be careful. Part. What? Now, My dude. Who the heck are you? Can't an old man have a moment to himself? You were in there with Lady. Um, you hired me. The Magister, don't you remember? Oh, right. Joseph the Scrounger. So, why are you here? Had any luck? He found Spoiled. a girlfriend. And yeah, we did find something. I ah. suggest you first of all tell me when I allowed you to drag your flings up here. <laughs> Do you need me to explain? <laughs> You're in trouble. Of the words highly and confidential to you. Yoink. I'm sure there's a lot you can explain to me, but let's say this particular lady over here needs your help, to be frank. I do. I'm very, very sick. Is that so? And what exactly has that got to do with me? Let the keepers and their holy rituals take care of it. Mm. Are what you is it with the costume anyway? Guys, gotta this sort this out. Is different, my sir. Just feel her aura. And yeah, see. don't Plus, touch too close, though. You are. Uh, well, all right then, for nostalgia's sake. I really hope you're not wasting my time, though. Working with these religious buffoons is bound to make any rational thinking person go bonkers. Anyway, that chair over there. Take a seat. Oh. And I'll have a look at that fever of yours. Oh, son of a bitch. I, I just sat down. Can't you just do it here? I, um, I'm, uh, having a bit of issues. There we go. There we go. Fantastic. Sometimes my legs stop working. It's because of God Howard. You, you understand, do you? Yeah. All right, then. This will Whoa, dude. A little. What the f Fuck, is that Tai Chi? Sweet. Hmm, yeah, you're right. This aura does feel different. Complex somehow and mm, powerful. Yeah, thanks for and turning me blind. To tell me you've only recently discovered that talent of yours. Flew right out of my ears. I'm surprised that you haven't turned into an Obaya by now. Hmm, fine, fine. I, I, well, that is, we will help you. All right. But first, tell me everything. How you got that? Oh boy, boy here we go again. That scrounger. Yeah, that idiot. I mean, I sort of agree. He's a bit of a dummy. Let's hope he knows what he's doing. Hmm, he's a good I dummy, see. but he's dummy. Regarding this vision thing, I think that your mind simply played a trick on you. Oh, there. don't give me that bullshit. Not that it's much of a surprise, considering what you've been through. Actually, you were quite lucky that the sudden outburst of your glance. Didn't blow your head right off. Right. Um, what's a glance? Uh, by all that's holy, I won't start playing your tutor now. My dude, that's why I'm here. If you don't know about the basic functioning of magic, then read something from Balador Goldenstein. He's... The glance on the sea of eventualities. 
Alongside, but apart from the reality we're in right now, exist countless other realities, in which some events have different outcomes, so to speak. A version of this very same room, for example, with the very same people in it, only that Meister Firespark's beard is on fire. Yeah, it's probably my fault. What finds an arcanist, someone capable of magic, is that he or she can see those other realities and let parts of them come true. I see. Well, look at that, Jasper. He's starting you to recognize your me. name now. That's You've impressed him. For. How powerful an arcanist is depends on three factors. Brute force, brute force, How brute force. How far away are the eventualities that he can see? How well he can bring parts of them into our reality? And finally, how well his mind can handle seeing other realities simultaneously with ours. I see. Lighting a candle is easier than calling a meteor from the sky to speak plain in our... You but, don't say. Said, Read Goldenstein if you're interested in the topic. I'm not gonna waste any time with lectures. Hmm. Uh, I mean, I can understand. Uh, you probably aren't being employed for this kind of shit, but uh, can you tell me something about that water and uh, the the chapel? Well, that's probably a sign that you should go easier on the booze. I refuse. Skill, whether of physical or magical nature, isn't gained through touching some stones but through hard work and discipline you've offended me sir even though this screwball endrelay and talk of paths and predeterminations tries to tell us otherwise yeah well um they, they they seemed real to me man i was sort of on fire and my dad was a bit pissy about it ah uh, well if that's what you want to believe go for it i in any case have never come across such a phenomenon in over 50 years of studying magic, and now we should... It all begins with the dreams. What the? Blasted, blistering blazes! Does this room look like the bosom of a whore? Or what nice. you think you can go around touching anything? Yeah, Jaspar, how dare These you? These documents are confidential for heck's sake. Yeah, Jaspar. I knew it was a mistake to hire a Where thug like you, Lashery. Always had a weakness for- Correct me if I'm wrong, but I remember you telling me something about dreams that led you and Tealor Renthiel here, didn't you, my sir? And you told me that in this vision of yours, the veiled woman said this. It all begins with the dream. She did say that. What? Is that true? She did say that. Oh. Then, this near-death experience you had before you woke up on the shore. Tell me again, what exactly did you see in it? A room? Uh... Yeah, it wasn't pleasant. There was a lot of um, burning, and a lot of voices. Hmm. Well, this... this is strange, indeed. You don't say. Anyway, for now all that matters is that we get that magic of yours under control. Ooh, I've got that shit Whatever under wraps. Whatever clairvoyance back there is of no use to us if you're dead as a doornail in a couple of months. I could do with some ambrosia. Can you sort of help me out with that? Well, that's usually a plodding process. The fever you feel is a result of your mind not being able to handle all of these possibilities. Uh -huh. The ritual the Endraleans practice to get the glance under control is called the journey to the water. Right. Put frankly, it means one year of hour long Dude. meditation. Bland food and abstinence from anything that makes Dude. life worth living. In due time, the Arcanist then learns to filter these other realities from ours, and the fever gets less and less. Anyhow, luckily enough, we oh. Neremese know of a way to quicken that process. Lay it on me. A shortcut, if you will. I'm not capable of performing it, but another one of us is. Do it, do it, do it. Lashery. And you should seek her out as soon as possible. Is she around here somewhere? Um. Yeah, is it gonna have like side effects? That's usually how it is with shortcuts. There is indeed, and this reason is called ignorance. The Order's rituals haven't changed since the Lightborn slipped out of their cradles, and the Keepers do their best to keep anything progressive out of their country. Right. But please, if you're up for a year of austerity and stern-faced magisters scolding you, go for it. I really don't care. I mean, if the food is free, I actually wouldn't mind that much. But it would probably make for some boring videos, so I guess we're gonna have to do it. 
She's currently in a ruin called Old Rationgrad, not far from Ark. Just tell her that I sent you. Ah, give me that map of yours. Okay, now you'd have to be a total idiot to miss it. I recommend leaving for the ruin straight away. And you, Joseph, you're going to come with me and show me what your trip to the oh, Sun Coast sweet. brought forth. I, I almost feared that Hopefully he was going to come with me. a bottle of honey wine and a hangover. Uh, does that mean we're done here? Character, isn't he? Well, I so like are you, somehow. so so am I. Here, I owe you this for your help back in Riverville. Uh, and in case you're in the mood for a mug of ale and a good chat, just drop by the Dancing Nomad in the Stranger's Quarter. Yeah, man. I'll get myself a room there for the time being. Sweet. With all that said, good luck mastering your magic, my fair lady. Oh, he's around. so cute. Do I sense a hint of love, Jaspar, for this uh, cute little psychopath? During the main story of Enderal, you have the opportunity to deepen your bond to several persons. These missions aren't available forever. Okay, yeah, that's NP. Um, we're gonna do all the side quests before we keep doing the main quest anyway, so... This is definitely something that... We're gonna do first. Um, yoink. Let's hope he knows what he's doing. Yeah, let's hope so. Mm -mm. Oh, hey man, how you doing? Hmm. Can you tell me where you're from exactly? Oh, that's hard to tell. Most of the time I was with Narathzul's Order in the Kabeat Mountains. But when I was younger, I used to travel a lot, not only in Nerim. What about you? Which idiots did you have the misfortune to be raised by? The foolhardy rebels up north? The bootlicking pawns of the Chancellor. I mean, the guys in the, in the north were pretty or hardcore. The fanatic, mask wearing, cultist oafs down south. Yeah. Uh, Ostian. Ostian, I see. Don't pity A me, you bastard. Piece of earth, actually. Yeah, but these it is. The sodding cultists and their creator have done their best to make it a living nightmare. Truth be told, it was them who made me join Narathzul's fight against religion. Right. The days. Yeah. I was a young traveling arcanist then, and wanted to make some money in Ostian's arena. Oh yeah, that was a lot of fun. Animals. Oh, you know the story. I remember that, with all the I traps and shit. I heard a lot about Nerim South, and imagined a place at the pulse of life. Exotic music, adventure, beautiful women. But you know who greeted me when I reached the city gates? Uh, tell me. Corpses. Ooh. They burnt their skin ah. off and then nailed them to crosses. Aye. There were at least fifty of them. Men, women, children. I got them, dude. And they were set up at the roadside like trees in an alley. It was atrocious. The smell of burnt meat everywhere. The screams of those who still lived and and all of it only because some fool has decided that they had somehow acted against their god. I still dream of it sometimes. Oh, well, that was when I declared war on religion. I was so sick of seeing people cutting each other's throats only because they project their own personal problems into some holy scripture or higher power. And that's not even the worst part. They're beyond reason. Why are you doing this, I asked them. Because my God told me to. What's left to say there? You can essentially justify anything with that logic. This is why this place makes me sick. We need the Order's manpower. They need our knowledge about the Piraeans, and we both do want the same thing, yes. But philosophy and freedom of thought are nowhere to be found. It's pathetic. I mean, if you're gonna, like, wage war on religion on one hand, and then demand for philosophy on the other, those things don't really work together, but sure. Um, yeah, it is, you know, the problem is as old as time, and the problem is all around society, it's corruption. Hmm, yes, and no. On the one hand, yes, a happy person will most likely never become a murderer, no matter if he or she follows the teachings of this creator or some Quiranian philosopher. But if something happens to this person, hunger, fear, shattered dreams, 
A peaceful ideology can make all the difference. Yeah. What is Why are you all? implying? It's a guide to yeah, there life, you go. A set of values. And even if it's just one line in the Holy Scripture that says, kill the infidels, how likely is it that a broken man will interpret it in a peaceful way? But you're way? saying the exact same thing as I'm saying. If you want a justification to spill blood, you will find it. If your religion was ambivalent to begin with, even better. Hmm, there's a lot of discussion about that on Kira. This man contradicts himself. To hear people prattling I must how it's all resist the urge to be a nerd. Interpreting the scripture in different ways. Blazes, if your he just keeps going, he so just keeps so going. Oh, I'm so sick of talking say, to you, buddy. Slayeth this, slayeth that. Rather than just uh, you said th the same thing pathetic. three times already, just in different sentences. Um, uh, yeah, so yeah, that's basically what it's cutting at. Thank you, Gabe. Thank you for at least acknowledging it. Yeah, if you want a peaceful, re well, if you want a peaceful religion, it shouldn't have ambivalent parts, but more likely not necessarily a peaceful one, but at least one that, you know, guides people correctly. Yes, go on. Try to justify a massacre like the one in Ostian with a philosophy that consists of only two principles and nothing more. Respect those around you, and killing is bad regardless of the motives. Good luck. Oh, this man's full hard. Um. Yeah. You know, it's all well and good if you want to stop um, murders and shit, but if you're gonna stop people from trying to figure out what their place is in the universe, then you've gone a step too far. Oh, believe me, they do that anyway. Plus, if the only thing keeping a person from killing and robbing another one is the thought that some higher power will But that's not all it, yeah, that's maybe all that religions in this universe, but I'm sure. Virtue to begin with. This man has some very specific ideas about what religion is supposed to be, and apparently all those ideas are the bad ideas, because that's the only ideas he knows, but, uh, sure. Um, can you tell me more about the order? I'm assuming you don't have the time, but... Oh, do you really yeah, I'm just gonna pester to you. That. You're a bit of a knob. Just take a look around. There are all sorts of great historical writings on us here. We're a bunch of bloodthirsty heretics who follow Tino Aranthiel's deluded son into the war against the gods, who gloriously defeated us in the Battle of Zaramar. Oh, I remember Ratzel that vaguely. was locked into an old tower, and those of us who remained cowardly fled into the narrow I remember that fondly. I was and there since then, in a different life. And plotted against the poor people of the civilized world by all means necessary. Oh, and did I forget to mention that we eat babies for breakfast? Oh, I remember that. Well, yeah, that have. was delicious. Um, did you did did, did I say something out of line? <sighs> Sorry. I suppose I just shouldn't have read that much Endrelayan literature on Perhaps. the subject. If there's someone who deserves an award for biased misrepresentation of the facts, it's the buffoons who It's called place. propaganda. Do you guys not, not know this word, propaganda? Is that like foreign in this universe? So, uh, who in the temple is part of your order? Oh, don't tell Lushi that. Altogether it's her, Yuslan, me. And two acolytes. Are you guys all from Nirim? Jerslan is probably the most gifted entropist of the civilized world. And I doubt there's anyone who knows more about the Pyrians than Lushi. Huh. Right, well, thanks for the info, man. He's, uh, yeah. Definitely quite a character. Um. I must resist harassing people with my own views, so I won't. I, I won't do it. I'm just gonna, you know, do the sort of the baby nod that uh, people do when they don't want to listen to somebody, but they just sort of pretend like they're listening. No, the archmagister. Yoink! Feels good to be here, to be honest. The funerals. There's a lot of books here. Ooh, the well-traveled one. I'm gonna read this later, I suppose. Can I have it though? Ah, nobody cares. Beautiful. I'm gonna have to get into those books. I'm assuming it's gonna be interesting because there's so many of them that sort of give you a quest. 
Uh, you should probably not waste my time stealing all these books right now. That's gonna be for later. Let's go. Um, so we're, we're supposed to find a lady, right? Uh, but the lady is in a dungeon, so we're gonna have to prepare a bit. one tell someone else is afflicted? Why, scared you've caught it, are you? That is not Yes. Yes. 